What's up guys, Nick here with a brand new kind of review. This is going to be a console review. Now, what's a console review? It's basically going to be this. I'm going to review a game console itself. I'm not doing Xbox 360, you know, past ones. I'll do future ones, which obviously there's only two more coming out. There's one I'm going to do right now. There's possibly a third one that's sitting right here that I've unboxed. So, this one's going to be of the Wii U. Yes, there's a game going right there. The Wonderful 101. Which, technically it's Wonderful 10100, but you're the other one. So basically, I'll, I'll get this up and going. See if I can get the controls and everything started. If you can see this bright right here, that's my TV screen. Basically, the Wii U just came out. Um, sometime a couple months ago, and basically it's a console where you have a touch screen deal here. Look, y'all can see me playing a little bit. I'm I'm just pressing the A button. I I have no back back camera that you can look at to where I can sit here and do this, play like this, ha 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 ha, hitting enemies, whatever. I'm just waiting for it to load. The Wii U comes with a the console itself, which is almost as small as the Wii, the Wii, the first Wii, and then it comes with this gamepad. This is your primary controller. Now, as you can see here, you have a touch screen. Now let's show what happens when I do this or something. Okay, I don't have the right screen up here. Sorry. So you have this little screen here. You press up. Okay, still not going. I want to do it like this. Now my screen is right here. Here's the touch screen. You press up. Okay, it doesn't work. You press the up button. You make a blue line. You press A. And this is what happens. Your character now has a sword. Now not review this is not my review of the game itself. And now you can attack, do all that fun stuff, blah blah blah. And everything like that. Now, let me pause the game. Now, also, for some certain games, when you have a pause screen, it gives you an inventory section, which you press certain items on here. Okay, with this one, I'm not doing it that way. You press certain things, and you see different, different things to look at here. Now, I think this is the perfect addition for the Wii. You don't have to worry about that Wii sensor bar. Yes. You can use the old Wii remotes for the old Wii games, which they do play. It is backwards compatible, which would explain um, why I have a few Wii games, like uh, No More Heroes 2 and Metroid Other M, which I do like that game, so shut up, all you critics out there. And with other games, you can switch between the main screen. Where's the... The main screen with the uh, map on it, then just the map itself where you have the big TV there. Or, you can just take full control, and there you're there. Now this will be your drawing section right there. So, let's make a circle. Right, we can't. It, it's hard for me to do this. Press A, and now he has his fist. Pretty cool, right? This takes place of the drawing of here. If you don't like the draw. I like that. That's a pretty cool addition. You know, it's not, it's not this. You know, if they put, which they want, it's a Nintendo exclusive game. If they put that on there, then you'd be using this. I think it's a little better to use a drawing because you just draw a line and you're done. That, I only use it for certain sections of, of that part of the game. Now with other games like uh, Mario... You can you can use still use this. You could play it right here. You can play it on the TV. But if you have say a Wii remote and this, this cannot be used, which is bad with me. This cannot be used with this. This this will be used as a platforming section where you press press on the screen and it makes a platform. Now I've seen let's plays where people were acting like jackasses and they do that to block the other people from continuing on, you know, just to be funny and whatever. But it actually has some good qualities to it. Now, I, there's 
those are the only two games that I played next to Nintendo Land, which I didn't play that much. It no review of that. But the Wii U is actually a very good console if you like tablets. The ta this is basically a tablet. It's a tablet. You play this. Let's do something real quick. I'm not going to run my battery dead. This that's all I'm going to use right now. Blah blah blah. Turn it off for a second. Bas basically, it's a gaming console that comes with a tablet. It's on the price has dropped surprisingly. The pr I've seen on GameStop the price of the 32 gig is now three hundred dollars. I bought this for three hundred dollars. I don't regret it because I don't download that many games on it, so I don't care. You know, 32 gigs is not that much anyway, or is not that much to begin with. And this is two hundred fifty dollars at GameStop. I don't know if that's new or used or whatever. But basically, you're playing the console with this tablet. There are games that you can use that for it. There are other games that are just like a mini-map. To where you're playing the game, you do this, and you look down. That's it. You know, you have a bigger tablet. Stop. It keeps coming on. Sometimes that gets annoying. Now, one thing I hope they do with this is... They make it to where you don't have to turn this on in order to play because there are times I want to play just the Wii games. And in order for this to go out, you have to select the Wii first. Which, you have to hold down B and it'll go directly to it and then it'll turn off. But it still runs the battery dead somehow. So you have to walk out a distance, wait for it to disconnect, shut it off. Now I hope they change that to where you don't have to have that on because you can use a Wii remote. Okay, let's see. Uh, you also have a Pro Controller for it, which... I don't own, but I'm pretty sure you don't have to connect it to a Wii remote. Yeah, you don't have to connect it to a Wii remote. So, and Beautiful 101, you can play with a Pro Controller. So basically, use the right stick to draw the stuff, and that's cool. That's fine. Most of the games that I know about that are coming out will use a Pro Controller, which eventually I will get one once I get more games. Two games, don't, don't bother me. Mario, you can use the Pro Controller for. Also, they added that later. Good idea. At least we don't have to pay for it. Capcom. Anyway, let's see. A lot of, a lot of good games are going to be coming out for this. Mainly, you know, first party, of course. Uh, Super Smash Brothers, another Mario game. Uh, Hi uh, Hyrule. Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, which comes out just in a few, few more days. Uh... Uh, definitely another Legend of Zelda game in the future. Obviously. I mean, they come out with what? Uh, I, I would say two, but Twilight Princess technically came out for the GameCube, too. So, te usually they come out with one to maybe two or three Zelda games. A bunch of Mario games. There was uh, Mario Galaxy, Mario Galaxy 2, uh, Mario Wii. Uh, there are several others that I know. Uh, the Mario Sonic games, Mario Party. There's a they they milk the hell out of first party games. Hopefully they come out with another uh, Metroid game, you know, to where you use this and click whatever stuff. And I uh, hope to God they come out with a Pokemon game like this, that like Pokemon Coliseum or something, where it has its own story mode, everything like that. You know, not stagging Pokemon, but whatever. That also connects to. Uh, the next gen, the sixth generation. That would be awesome. I hope they do that. Because use this as your inventory screen to pick your different Pokemon. You know, like, uh, press this to go to inventory, all this stuff, to where you don't have to have it on screen, you have to press a certain button to get to the inventory. It's right there sitting there. And to press your attacks and use the buttons and all that stuff to move your character. You know, that would be a fun idea. So, that's just me. That's me being a critic. I'm not a critic. I'm do it. It's just me coming up with ideas. Uh, friends of mine have also said they should make a Pokemon game to where they could do that. You know, that would be awesome. But, overall, the, I'm giving it a rating. It's a 4 out of 5 to me. There are a few problems with it, which are... You have to have the gamepad on. The, ba the battery... Didn't mention that the battery only lasts three to four hours, which is about the same amount of time as this with the uh, 
with a 3DS game, with a 2D, or 2DS, with a DS game, five to six hours, depending on the brightness of the screen. I have this on like three or four. I had it on one. I'm like, I can't even see it. So basically, if you are a Nintendo fan, I suggest getting this. If you're skeptical about it, and you're still a Nintendo fan, do it. The games that are coming out for it, first party games, awesome. They have Watch Dogs coming out for it. They have the next Assassin's Creed game. They have all kinds of good uh, Ubisoft games coming out for it. And eventually, people are going to see that this is a good console, whether you like a touchscreen thing or not. Nintendo does have good ideas. The problem is, they don't have good third-party games. And Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed is a good step in the right direction. And they have Mass Effect 3 for it, which I've seen reviews of it. It is better on this because you have options with this gamepad, with this gamepad, that you could do things with. So, this is Nick. I'm going to go back to playing my game. I haven't had hardly any time to play it. I hope you enjoyed this video. There will be a, a review of the 3DS sometime soon. I'm not, I'm not doing all these at once, you know, but I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you all the next console review. Later.